Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We've already shuffled the deck and we've already cut it. So let's get right into your reading in regards to love and romance, Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Uh, now we're going to be doing three cards, which is going to be the energy of your partner as well as the obstacle to overcome or the person of your interest and your energy leo so let's see what spirit has here now in regards um to how your partner is viewing the situation you have the king of swords now the obstacle to overcome is the seven of pentacles and your energy is the eight of pentacles okay so i see a lot of regressing i see a lot of looking towards the past or reminiscing about the past uh, type of energy um what they're saying here with the king of swords you could be dealing with an air sign aquarius gemini libra but you can also be dealing with a person that is very uh or acting very standoffish at the moment they're not really communicating or they're not really opening up i feel that they're going around in circles or overthinking and over analyzing a certain situation now with the seven of pentacles this does represent the past or looking to the past and if you can see here it's almost as if the woman is holding on to a red ribbon and it's in the air right it's 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 almost like you're still holding on to a situation or perhaps some of you guys are still holding on to a past lover. And I think that for this month or the remaining of this month, there's going to be a lot of feeling like you like there's frustration because you haven't been able to move on or you haven't fully um, made a decision that you can stay with that decision and be OK with it. So what I mean by that is for some of you guys, you may be dealing uh, with a past lover or someone that you still haven't emotionally healed from with the eight of pentacles this is very stagnant energy this is speaking directly about you being mentally enslaved to the idea or to the reminiscing or to the looking back and what they're saying here is that with the eight of pentacles it this is more of a mental type of energy so I can see that both of you guys are too much in your head. It could be that pride is involved in this situation. But what Spirit is saying is that with the King of Swords, I feel that this could be a almost a feeling like why are they so standoffish or why can't they, you know, communicate or show their emotions or why can they apologize? Um, for wrongdoings and it's almost like they're standing in their pride they're not allowing themselves to fully step out of the situation to be able to see it from a different perspective so what they're saying here is that inevitably what's happening is that whether you're trying to work out a situation with a person from the past or whether you are trying to move on I still see you regressing or looking back, trying to analyze what went wrong or what could have, what could have, should have type of energy. And what they're telling you here is that the only one that is creating an obstacle for yourself is yourself. So it's not so much about trying to understand their reasoning behind it. What Spirit is telling you is acknowledge the fact that, uh, yes, perhaps the situation, you know, brought pain or brought some type of hurt to you. Um, but inevitably, if this person is stuck, you know, stuck on the mud and they're not willing to change, perhaps it was best to walk away. And you need to be OK with that, Leo, because what they're telling you here with the Eight of Pentacles is the reason why you haven't moved on or the reason why some of you guys perhaps and this could even be speaking to people that have been single for for a very long time for over two years maybe three years what they're saying is it's not that there's been lack of opportunities around you it's just that you are still emotionally invested in this situation 
there is something that you're still holding on to that you're refusing to let go. So what they're telling you is that there's no stuckness or there's no blockages. You're the one that's refusing to let go or you're the one refusing to move on from the situation. Perhaps even hopeful or thinking that this person is going to be able to change. And what they're saying here is that no, this person is stubborn. Uh, they are being ruled by their pride. And inevitably, should you have decided to stick around or should you have decided to wait uh, or try to fix the relationship or try to work it out, what they're telling you here is that you would still end up uh, end up being feeling like you are emotionally unfulfilled. All right, I'm going to be pulling out one card from the Return of Spirit. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to this situation. Spirit, what is your direct message here? Okay. And you have frequency shift, which is exactly what we're talking about here. There is a need to fully accept what has been done where we're at right now and where is it that you want to go leo where is it that you want change in your life obviously this is a love reading so you want change in regards to love and what they're telling you is that you need to change your frequency there has to be a change in freq in frequency you need to shift that energy this energy of feeling stuck or feeling like you're not in control of the situation or feeling like there is, you know, there's no progress or there's no movement. What Spirit is telling you is that there is movement and there is progress. But you're not seeing that because you're so consumed or you're so focused in the past or in this person that is refusing to change or that is refusing to meet you halfway. And what you're doing is you are still in the same energy that you were for some of you guys it could have been years so what they're telling you is that it's not that there's lack of movement or progress is that you're deciding to continuously keep looking towards the past and when we keep looking to the past it becomes almost impossible for us to move forward because even if you do move forward you're bound to trip and fall because you're not paying attention towards where you're going it's kind of like that you know metaphor of having a ship in the ocean and if you have no destination you're going to continuously keep going in circles without getting anywhere and it's because there's lack of taking ownership or taking your power back and steering the wheel all right all right my lovelies i hope you guys i hope this gives you some type of insight and guidance we will see each other soon. Take care and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.